So, video on the Fisher Space Fan Bullet in raw brass. You can get this focused. Focus, 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 focus. A little bit. There we go. So, obviously, Space Pen by Fisher, USA. This one is the raw brass, like I said. And this raw brass tarnishes and it develops it develops patina and develops a odor and I'm gonna get into that later. Uh, Fisher also comes out with a I believe um, is it aluminum? I'm not sure if it's aluminum or if it's brass, but they also make the um this in different colors, black, uh, uh, polished chrome. A uh, bunch of other stuff like that. Just check out Fisher Space Pen on eBay. That's where I got mine. I got mine on eBay for around thirteen dollars shipped. Uh, I'm not quite sure though, so gotta check yourself. Uh, this one, as you can see, it's developed a nice patina from hand oils and stuff like that. Get this focused. focus there we go so I've had this for a pretty good amount of time so I figured I'd make a video on it so it comes in the small form factor when it's closed but when you open it the cap rests on the top and you get a nice full-size pen rests over here on the web of your hand you can write pretty comfortably although for me personally it gets pretty small but it's, it's probably due to my writing style I have t terrible penmanship um, but there's that. Obviously it uses the Fisher Space Pen refill. All you have to do is unscrew the cap. And then you have it here. Let's see this. So Fisher Space Pen. Boulder City. It comes with that stuff. This one comes with a medium refill. And all you have to do is screw this on. This one has a o-ring to keep the cap on when it when you put it um, when you close it for space pen so right smoothly does all the Fisher space pen type things uh, can write upside down underwater extreme heat extreme cold does that so been it's been pretty good to me but one of my big problems is also one of the reasons why I bought it I like I bought this one because I like I love patinas you know I got patina let me show you patina that I got going on my condor bush lore get that from cutting fruit and vegetables and I just I like how patinas look and I like the character that they give to knives and the gear that you have that can tarnish so there's that the condor bush lore anyways put that back really nice sheath so I got that got this particular version so that it can patina and I really like how that looks gives it really nice character but as I use it a lot I have very clammy hands when I play games on a PS3 or something uh, when I let go of the controller the next person who gets it or hand it to they notice immediately that it's like super like soaked just because I have really clammy hands so when I write with this the acids come off my fingers I guess or something and then the patina will rub off whoops the patina rubs off and then it gets my fingers green fortunately I can't show you that but yeah it'll get my fingers green the patina will rub off and it's just icky and of course since I have clammy hands when they touch this raw brass it does give an odor on my fingers not like a really heavy stench that everyone can smell around you it's just that it's kind of it's kind of gross and kind of gross to have like that green on your fingers so that's probably that for me um, when I use it I don't have good penmanship so there's probably a lot of rubbing going on but I really do like this pen and like the form factor I just wish that it came with a clip I know that you can actually purchase a clip separate online but just haven't gotten around to it but I figure 
I'm gonna be I want to be getting a bigger pen than this maybe a hinder investigator or some sort of hinder pen just because I want to get a nice pen for college just because it's a part of my everyday carry that I use the most not even my knife not my wallet it's it's the pen so I want to get myself one that's really nice and I think that the hinder investigator looks really nice um, probably get that one in brass I don't know if it's gonna affect me as much with the uh, patina thing on my fingers but who knows it just looks cool right that's why we buy these things um, so yeah it's been working out for me normal Fisher Space Pen this isn't really a review it's kind of an overview just telling you a little bit about my experience with it and yeah so really small really nice form factor if you want to carry this for college I guess or just for note taking places just mind that if you have clammy fingers like I do or you have bad penmanship and you tend to rub your fingers a lot during like when you're writing with a pen just keep that in mind when it comes to the raw brass finish you might want to get with the uh, the coated finish I'm sorry I forgot which uh, what the coating is called but yeah you could probably stick with one of those small form factor just, it's only a little bit wider than my hand when it comes to this point um, and in the pocket I'll just drop it next to my phone and that's where it's going to be it doesn't really interfere anyways thanks for watching if you liked it please like favorite uh, subscribe and then give me a comment if you have any questions or any comments to make about this pen if you like everyday ge um, carry gear pictures hand dumps pocket dumps seeing all that kind of stuff just my photography or gear photography check out my instagram at Hans Boyardee. H-A-N-S-B-O-Y-A-R-D-E-E -E, and you can see all that stuff. Give me a follow. Anyways, thanks for watching uh, and have a great day.